why you should buy an Xbox over a PlayStation. Choose your side. Do you prefer an Xbox or a PlayStation? Today, I'm going to persuade you that an Xbox is better than a PlayStation. An Xbox is better than a PlayStation because it runs games at more FPS, has a more has a modern and, sim and simpler design, and the Xbox offers the Xbox Game Pass. Firstly, the Xbox is shown to run games at more FPS. FPS stands for frames per second, and this describes how smoothly a game runs on your computer by the amount of times the game transfers frames images on your computer or Xbox. For example, Screen Rant says Call of Duty Warzone in 120 FPS on the Xbox Series X as opposed to PS5, where 60 FPS remains the only option. In this picture, you'll see that that's the graphics processing unit. And right here, it gives you the teraflop information. Um, the reason this game runs at 120 FPS on Xbox is because of the number of teraflops this Xbox has. A teraflop is the measure of strength of the graphics processing unit. The Xbox has 12 teraflops rather than a PlayStation only having 10. The Xbox having 12 teraflops allows games to run much more smoother and at higher FPS compared to the PlayStation. So why would you want a console that can work? Why wouldn't you want a console that can run games smoother and faster at, to, for the same price? Secondly, the Xbox design is much more modern and minimalistic. Pod, Pocket Link says the PS5 is massive, the tallest console we've ever seen. It is also uniquely designed with two faceplates protecting the main console, you, console unit sandwiched between. The PlayStation is extremely tall and skinny and cannot be put on its side, making it very hard to fit in shelves. As you can see here, compared to the Xbox, it's way taller taller than a computer actually it might it's a it's a decent design just the height and the side and the, the the length of it and not being able to put on its side makes it makes it not very good for people's spaces so why wouldn't you want something that you can put put in different angles and fit it where you want Thirdly, the Xbox offers the, a Game Pass. Xbox says, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate includes all the benefits of Xbox Live Gold up and over 100 high quality games for console, PC, and Android, and Android devices from the cloud, and an EA, EA Play membership. With this Game Pass, you pay a small amount every month to have free Xbox Live, have access to over 100 games for your Xbox, as well as your PC, if you have a computer, and you can even get more cloud storage uh, to store your games on. In this picture, you see every month they update more and more games, and then they do deals where you can get three months of the Game Pass for only one dollar, and you get free Xbox Live, which is which is usually fifty bucks. PlayStation does not offer anything like this, so why would you buy a PlayStation when you could save? The Game Pass also offers. Game Pass also offers games for your Android, and you can and it gives you more storage to hold more games. So if you only have 500 gigabytes and you want to download more games, you can do that because when you pay for this, it, you can do it through the cloud over Wi-Fi. In conclusion, when you're spending $500 on a console, you would want the one that's going to give you the most bang for your buck. Both these consoles are powerful, but the Xbox takes a win due to its strong GPU, its simplistic design, and the features offered with the Xbox. Buy the Xbox Series X. Remember when purchasing your console that the Xbox Series X has much more has much more strength as well as perks.